Welcome back friends to Build Lot Acres. In today's video, we're gonna be organizing the wood yard. Stay tuned. So let me show you guys what I'm dealing with and some of my plans and thoughts for today's video. So if you haven't seen the making of the wood yard or the sawmill area, please go check that out. I'll put the playlist in the description of the video, but this area that we're standing in was all woods not too long ago. And I cleared out, I'm gonna say probably 10 to 12,000 square feet. So like a quarter of an acre to make this area. And it's just not organized the way I want. I got my firewood here. I got my mill obviously up there. I got logs scattered all over the place and some trailers and different implements. And yeah, they just want to organize it a little better so it's more efficient. I really want to start making more things with the mill. I'm actually going to reveal later in the video what my plan is and hopefully you guys can give me your thoughts. But one of my main problems is the road coming down here is obviously gravel, dirt, whatever. So that all washes down and you can see it leaves this you know silty mess and it washes right into the logs which is one of the big problems this isn't the best place to store the logs i don't know if you guys can see it with all the leaves but that log yeah that's probably a you know eight or nine inch log and it's almost completely buried in dirt that washed down from the roadway. So I'm going to have a hard time trying to mow those logs because they're going to be full of dirt. And that's one of the reasons that I want to move the logs, I think, to another area, not on the roadside. It's also why I put the seven foot landscape rake on the coyote. So once I start moving stuff around, I can rake things out, make it a little better. See if we can't come up with a more efficient system for this area.
Got a nice little pile of logs going. That last one was heavy. I tell you what, the coyote barely picked that up. Really should have had a heavier counterweight than the York rake. But nice pile of logs going. And I think it's a good time to take a break and take lunch. I'll tell you what, man. That coyote is a real monster. I swapped to the bucket and that seven foot York rake, that land pride does a real nice job. They call it a York rake, but it's really a landscape rake. York's just a brand, but it's kind of like the first one. Kind of like how everyone calls skid steers, bobcats, even though bobcats just a brand. But I also got this nice pile of topsoil. This is real nice stuff. This is half compost, half loom. I'm gonna put this in my new garden beds. Going back to the project at hand. I moved all those logs and then I ended up York raking the mill road, which is not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. There was a lot of ruts and divots and sticks and leaves and all kinds of other junk in the path. And I think this is gonna work out well. Let's head on down to the mill yard and I will tell you what I'm planning that I alluded to earlier. So now we're entering the mill yard and you guys can see that everything's a lot cleaner and neater than it was. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with this trailer. I'm trying to come up with a good game plan for down here. So check out these huge pile logs. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but those are about 30 inches across. One of them is probably 13 feet long or so, I'm guessing, and the other one's maybe 11, 10 and a half, 11 feet. But those are gonna make some nice boards and nice lumber. So hopefully you can see that it looks a whole lot better. So we're gonna clean this area up a little bit with the pieces of wood, but I'm actually thinking of putting a big fire pit right here, maybe like a U-shaped big rocks. Like so, like real big rocks, like the ones you can see down there, you know, they're probably three to four feet across, real good size, maybe 1,500 pound rocks, maybe 2,000 pounds. I think a bunch of those stacked up in a U shape would be a nice backdrop and then all the no cutoffs and things I don't want, all the junk wood I can end up burning in that pit. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about was so I've been racking my brain trying to come up with ways that I can make money and allow me to do different projects in the channel, buy different things, maybe toys, equipment, things I'm going to need for the channel, for my house, for my property, you know, etc. So I thought about it and I need to utilize, I think, what I have on the property. And one of the main things that I have that I can utilize that a lot of people don't have is that sawmill. And therefore, what I'm going to be doing, I think, is making small buildings I'm gonna sell them. Things like chicken coops, hunting blinds, ice fishing shacks, um, you know, maybe firewood storage areas, trash bins. There's different things I'm gonna make, but they're all gonna be fairly small, something I can pick up with my coyote forks. And I wanna be able to pick them up into someone's truck or their trailer. So it can't be too heavy or too big of a building. And it's also gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, it's also gonna allow me to use short pieces of lumber. So if I have cutoffs, that are only you know four or five feet long those will be big enough to meld some of these things i think it's going to work out really nice and i'm excited to try it i might make one or two prototype buildings and i'll probably do videos on those but i'm gonna you know obviously mainly do it to sell the buildings i think i can make a lot of profit i'll still have to buy some stuff like metal roofing screws that kind of stuff but all the lumber i can mill myself and not pay for so there's going to be a nice little profit i think that i can make off these buildings it will be a lot of work but I think it'll be a worthwhile endeavor. Let me know what you think of that idea in the comments below. So thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you next time.